Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to Inspirational Spotlight. Today's inspiration is Dr. Ibrahim Abdurrahman Farajaji, who is also known as Elias Farajaji Jones. He is the only openly bisexual black man that I'm aware of. And please, if there are more and others, let me know. Although he is a well-known bisexual man, he doesn't care too much for that distinction and prefers to be referred to as two-spirited. Fabrizaji is quoted as having said this, We are taught we have to be one thing or another, but nowadays people are finding that they don't have to choose one thing or another. And even when they don't choose that one thing, that doesn't mean that they are confused. Farajaji was born and raised in Berkeley, California, and admits that his childhood was full of people speaking many different languages and with different racial, ethnic, religious backgrounds. I mean, it was during the 60s, the whole sexual revolution time where sexual exploration was, you know, an everyday part of life. Farajaji then would go on to New York to earn his bachelor's degree in religion from Vassar College and his master's of divinity um, from St. Vladimir's Seminary. He would go on to get his Ph.D. in theology from the University of Bern in Switzerland. What's interesting about Farajaji, he was a professor at Howard University, and this is where he was the founding faculty advisor for one of the first LGBT groups, which was called Oshala. But currently, he is the provost and I believe a dean as well at the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley. A couple interesting things about Farajaji. He speaks over a dozen languages like Arabic, Aramaic, French, German, Greek, Hebrew, Italian, Latin, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Turkish, just to name a few. But he has a dual residence in Turkey and in the U.S. He has been a part of immersion studies in both Rome, Italy and Istanbul, Turkey. His academic accomplishments are numerous, including large research grants from the Luce Foundation to study his work in Islamic studies. For the most part, Fawar Jarji is a theologian and an activist and is known for work where he challenges the line of demarcation between sexuality and spirituality. His approach to the study of Islam is grounded grounded in post-colonial diaspora studies, queer theory, critical race theory, cultural studies, performance studies, and digital media. He also explores ideals like intersectionality, politics of identity, Islamic feminism, and global HIV. Also, he has completed many pieces of performance art. I'll end with these words from an essay written by Farajaji. Erotophobia. Erotophobia has tried to lock us all up because our bodies matter too much to be free. But if we challenge erotophobia, we challenge all white supremacy, classism, homo-hatred, hatred of women, all that stems from it. But then if we did that, that would have to mean that our bodies matter. Dr. Ibrahim Abdurrahman Fabajaji, today's Inspirational Spotlight.